Hey everybody, today we are making a DIY neck weight for free diving, swimming, or whatever else you need a neck weight for. Let's get to it. The supplies that we will be using to make this neck weight are first and foremost our lead weights. I have sinker lead weights for fishing. These are three quarter ounce ones that comes in a five pack. We have some parachute clips. You can find these in the craft section at Walmart. You're going to need some fishing line to string those lead beads together. I personally got one that says eight pounds dash 1600 yards, but feel free to use whatever fishing line you have at home. Lastly, you're going to need some kind of cover for the lead weights. So it's not one directly on your skin, but two a bit more streamlined. So for that, you can buy a roll of electrical tapes or you could then get a funky color of duct tape. You are also going to need some scissors to help cut everything up. While well, this is inspired by a dive buddy friend who told me that she used fishing weights to make her neck weight, this is my own approach and I definitely encourage you to get creative and use whatever you have lying around. Whether that is finding a clip, this is from one of my dive knives that I've purchased. So get creative with how you want to do it. You could even sew lead weights onto here and then put it around your neck. Here is my clip. I just am unspooling some of this fishing line. I essentially want to thread it through. I'm giving myself plenty of extra room. I might want to make some knots. I want to have room to maneuver that. I'm going to make a knot over here. Pull through just a general knot and pull tight and try to keep it in the middle. I'm going to do that a second time. Just I want it really tight so it doesn't move around and stays pretty centered. There we go. I'm gonna do for good measure another knot. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to do this a second time. After doing that a second time, I made sure to loop these strings together. In total, you should have one, two, three, four strings. And we are going to use that as one large string to make sure it's strong enough to hold all of the weight that we put on here and ensure it won't break during a dive. I wanna cut all of the strings to make sure they're the same length. Arguably the most fun part about making this is stringing on the beads. It's just so satisfying. I'm putting on enough to fit around the circumference of my neck. I am doing a check-in for the length. Why is this stylish? First of all, I'm not gonna wear it like this, but um, I, I love it. It will lose a little bit of its flexibility when I wrap it. That will give it some shape. Let me take one more off. So here's the deal. For my length neck weight that I want to have, 17 three quarter pound fishing weights. It's the perfect length for me. That equates to about 0 0.79, 0 0.8 pounds, which is a little bit lower than what I want. Try to identify before you go to the store what your desired weight is so you don't end up in my situation only buying one denomination of weight and then having to rig up a weird look like this. It's not gonna matter because I'm gonna wrap it all together. It will be okay. Um, it's not ideal that there will be little pockets of air, but I'm gonna try to just wrap it tightly. I repeated the process of stringing the fishing line onto the clip so that I could bead my second round. Now I'm stringing my second row of beads around my first so that I can create the symmetrical layout of weight that I want. In the future, I will experiment with making this neck weight in different weights, 
personally, I think that it would be cool to have the same amount of lead beads in my second row and effectively leaving myself with a 1.6 pound neck weight. Okay, I seriously gotta just trust the process on this one. It seems to still fit my neck. It looks a little bit wonky right now, but this is the weight that I wanted and this is how I'm gonna have it set up. I'm just attempting to give my neck weight a bit more shape before I do any real wrapping since I was dealing with these beads moving around. And I'm sort of slappily doing this because it will all be wrapped and pressed down anyways. I'm literally so obsessed right now. I'm gonna be even more obsessed. What I did was I just wrapped this around really tight and tried to make sure that there's any gaps. I just would try to cover it up with tape. I am super pleased that this came out. I know it looks a little bit wild, but the important part is it is symmetrical. It is the weight that I want and it is pretty secure. To show the wrapping job that I did. So this is totally not as thick as normal duct tape. So I'm just gonna, just gonna take it, go for it. I found that the duct tape was a bit too wide to wrap around without having a lot of creases. So I ended up cutting the width in half and working in smaller chunks. Look at that! <laughs> Look at how funky it looks! <laughs> I am probably gonna wrap it in a shiny scotch tape that is thinner so that I could just like do one last cover up on this. Let's try it on. <laughs> what are we thinking? It literally is reflecting on my neck. If you do happen to make your own neck weight inspired by this video, please share it or even just message me. I would love to see it. Here is the neck weight wrapped with scotch tape and after a session in total, I used this neck weight in the water for 10 hours. This neck weight was everything that I wanted, low cost, a perfectly customized weight and one of a kind. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. There will definitely be more neck wave videos. First is the worst when it comes to prototyping. Bye.